This is Alma Pretzel. Gentlemen, we're in a man's left lady's right. We're going to start off with a nudge away. As you step back from guys, you're going to offer your right hand behind your back so the ladies can see your fingertips there, okay? Because they're going to be stepping in and taking that in a second. Guys, you're going to lead the ladies forward by bringing down towards your waist, then up and over the lady's head with your left hand as you step forward and bring the lady. If you notice, I haven't turned. I'm still facing forwards at this point. Now, as my left hand goes over the top of the lady's head, I'm then going to be turning to my right, okay? As Kat turns to her right, my left hand comes down, I bring my feet together, my left hand comes down, my right hand comes up, and I turn to look at Kat, okay? So I've turned my body right the way around. Gentlemen, my right hand now goes over the top of my head, okay, as Kat passes around behind me. I'm going to lower my left hand down as I turn to my left, my left hand then goes over and up and over the lady's head to turn her. As she comes around to face me, I lower the left hand down and we step back. Right, ladies, I'm going to add in your additional footwork just to make it a little bit more simpler for you. So Adam will nudge me away and he offers that hand behind the back. Now, ladies, the best offer you're going to get all night. <laughs> Sometimes we can't see their hand. So guys, if you do this move, make sure she can see your hand, either with indicate or wiggle. If you're down to a me in this dark room, I still might not take it. <laughs> so as you raise the hand, I should see that hand there. And from here, the arm's gone up. When the other arm comes down, the other arm goes up. So you get this nice seesaw effect. And it's safer for your arms as well at this point, guys. Ladies, your weight's on your right, but you're turn he's turned you, so you're looking at him. So your weight's on the, on the left, and your right foot's free. As he turns, rock forward, so that he can bring that hand over his head safely, because if you don't step forward, it's gonna hurt his shoulder. Your left leg is free, he's bringing his hand through. You're just gonna follow that hand around and turn to face him as he lowers and step back again on the left. Okay. Yeah. So, short calls, all right. So, gentlemen, you're in a man's left, the lady's right. You're gonna nudge the lady's back. So I like to go backwards on my right foot here, so I can actually slightly turn my body. I'm gonna lead him forward, so left hand comes up. As my left hand comes down, my right hand comes up and over my head, up and over Kat's head, up and over my head. I lower the right hand down, the left hand goes up and over Kat's head, I lower the left hand down, and then we step back. Yeah, so there's no returns needed for this, it's just a nice simple move. Everyone thinks it's complicated, but it's not really. Yeah, there is sort of a return. That very last turn at the end of the move is sort of like a half return there. It's a little mm. bit different. It's kind of unique, really. And there's a reason why we are fingertips. Can you just get me behind your back? Absolutely, into that seesaw yes. action? So from here, for your safety, this is why you're on fingertips, so that if you need to get away, then you can. Yeah. So you don't want, this is one of the moves that you can't grip on because you could injure your partner. And that goes on both counts, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll go from this side because uh, it's the only side. It is see. the best side for the man, for the men to see. Um, now, another thing we also want to mention is a little bit of a misconception: is turning sideways. Um, where from here, guys, we're not crabs; we don't go sideways. Yeah. So what I tend to do, certainly the way that I teach this move, is I try and travel forward. So I offer my hand behind my back. I can slightly open my body so Cat can see the, the hands there. And then as I step, I'm stepping forward as opposed to going sideways. So I've got a good lead, okay? It makes this next section so much more easier as my left hand comes down, my right hand comes up. And I can then make a half a turn. Yeah, and it is a seesaw action on the arm so you don't damage your shoulders. Uh -huh. My right hand, if you notice, I've actually turned that from there to up. So my palm is facing off at this point. It goes over the top of my head. Okay, my right hand comes down, my left hand comes up. This is sort of like a half return there. I lower the left hand down, she comes in to face me, and then step back. Now ladies, do not fight with his arms, do not pull him at any point during this, just mm. follow his lead. Yeah, this does look like a scary move, but it's actually, in my opinion, is one of the most comfortable it ones. It is very comfortable. But relax, go with it, and if something goes wrong, or you get into a little bit of a tangle, just let go, okay? Um, short calls. Yeah, so short calls, here we go. And seven, eight, step. Back, raise, raise the right, the right, the left, back. Try it from the other side so the girlies can get, get an opportunity to see. And five, six, seven, eight, step back, over, raise the right, 
the right, the left, back. Now normally in freestyle we dance this a lot closer, we are doing it quite big so that you can see where every arm and foot is going. Mm -hmm. But remember, make it smooth, slide and glide. Slide and glide. Slide and glide. Okay. And that was your pretzel.